Hello and welcome to Tech 18. I am Muhammad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about how to make an option about we can give the user to click on the column heading and then sort the column whether ascending or descending order. If you see here it is now in descending order. If I click again here it is now sorting it to ascending order. So if I click on the product name and it's the arrow goes to the product name and it is now showing a descending order and if I click again it's sorting it on the descending order. So this is how we can do it in Power Apps as well. So before going into that in detail, if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. So this is a continuation series of my video which I'm doing it from first few weeks about Power Apps. So this is a part of the nested gallery which I did. If you haven't seen that, I recommend you to please go and watch that video as well to make it clear understanding about how this flow works. So this is basically will populate this table when clicking on to any of the category or subcategory onto the left table and it goes up here into a collection and adds into a data table visual. So you can make use of this in a gallery or also you can use this in the data table, but the new thing which I added here is basically I use the switch statement here and given a variable about which column we intend to select because there are multiple columns which I have added here right so that's the reason I am using it in a switch statement but before to that let me just go from the beginning is like on top of this table this is basically the regular table there is no change in that and on, on top of that I use this two label button which is a product key and product name here and then I just given it a name for this one. If you have just observed here, if variable sort column, which is basically this uh, variable is equal to product key and then the sort type is equal to ascending, then I want this to be in this arrow. I'm actually changing the text of this label itself. You see here the property it is on text one. So I'm just changing the property of the text itself to give this name or this name. If it is not selected, then I just need the only the name, not with the down arrow or down arrow, not with the up arrow or down arrow. Right. So if you just go to this on select property of this label, if I go to on select here, I am using this update contest to update the local variable, which is the where sort column, which column. So basically this is the product key. So I have given it a name as a product key and the sort type. If the sort type is already if the user click one time, it will be treated as ascending. If they again click on that, it will be treated as descending. Likewise, if again the third time, if they click on that, it will convert into ascending itself. So that's how it will work. If the var site top equal to ascending, then it I want it to be descending. If it is a descending, then automatically it will go to this ascending step. This is how it will cycle on ascending, descending, or descending, ascending kind of thing. So the same logic I applied it for the dim product name as well. If you go to dim product name and then if I go to on select property, it's the same thing, but only change is the where sort column equal to product name. So similarly, we can also do for the model name. I will just copy this and paste on this one, control C and control V and just realign it on top of this column heading of the actual table itself. The reason for that is basically, uh, I just want to hide the existing column name so that I can use this label on top of that and then I can make use of this functionality. So here, if I go to this one, I'll just give it a name LBL model name heading. And then I will go to this text property of this one in the text property. I want this to be, I forgot the name of this one, which is the model name. So let it be model name. And here I am giving it a different name model name model name this has to be model name so here if there is a model name clicked on the user then only it's going to be uh, this arrow if it is not then it's going to be just the name without any symbols so this is the model name right now without any symbols and if i go to the on select property of this one and here this to be changed to model name and this ascending or descending, I don't want to change because that remains the same logic. And now if I go to this item property of this table, data table, this is item property, it's the same similar thing you can apply it for your gallery 
visual as well so here right now i use the switch statement switch where sort column if the sort column name is a product key then i want i am applying this sort function in power apps and then use the collection by product key and then the var sort type so what is the sort type is ascending or descending that's how it will define here and similarly is also the product name if it is a product name which a user clicked on the label and convert the variable assign this variable as a product name then it is going to be sort by product name and if it is a model name then it's going to be a model name if it is a color then it's going to be a color here and if the user has not select any of the values it means basically the initial load of this page then as nothing is selected then i want this to be sort by product key as a default and it should be ascending for example so default behavior is this one it will be sort by ascending order of the product key or else if the user click on any of this one then it's going to sort based on that so let me run this one now and show you by model name here if i click here right now it is showing up here model road 150 250 and similar kind of thing if i click on the name here then it's going to sort the by road which is 650 on the top and if i click again here it's going to be sort by road 150 which is on ascending order and also you can see the icon it's changing up here as i click on the name of the table name of the label here this is how you can able to achieve this one that you can add your custom label and then you can use these local two variables for the name of the column and also to sorting type ascending or descending and on the label property of this one you need to rename it based on your selection based on your click of the button so if you like this video just click on the big thumbs up button if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications but make sure you turn on the notification on your devices share it with your friends and colleagues if you have any queries and feedback just post it on the comment section below thanks for watching keep learning see you in the next video